what's going on guys today we're gonna do a nice little beginners tutorial in programming with Python 3 and we're gonna be using PyDroid for Android and of course you can do the same thing in an iPhone given that your device is jailbroken and you have a terminal and a text editor installed alright so let me open up PyDroid a lot of people were asking for tutorials on PyDroid and basically programming using your mobile devices so I figure since we're connecting to a lot of Wi-Fi access points it might make sense to do a port scanner so that we can find devices on our network scan them for which ports are open and just a nice little script 10 20 lines of code max so let's jump into it first let's import the libraries that we're going to need so we'll need socket system and threading to speed up the process now let's display a one line here to greet our user All right, let's run that. All right, cool. That looks good. Now let's check for arguments to see if this is running from command line so that we can input the IP address as the first argument. And if we do have an argument, we're going to go ahead and resolve the host given. So that will be system argument number one. All right, cool. So if we don't have an argument, then we're going to simply prompt the user for an argument. And of course, we need to go ahead and resolve that as well. Yep there we go alright so that takes care of our target now let's go ahead and do a function to scan all the ports in a specific range arguments are gonna be the target and the ports and this function will be threaded by the way so that we can speed it up and scan like a thousand ports in a second or something so S is going to be for socket. So we're initializing a standard socket here. Now let's initialize the connection. So we're going to do the function connect X and we got to pass the target and the port. Now if the connection is equal to zero, we're going to print that the port is open. And we close the socket, finally. Alright, now that we have our function and we're greeting the user, all we have to do is do a loop for the range of ports that we want to scan. So let's do for i in range rage <laughs> 1024 uh, scan equals threading dot thread and we're gonna do target equals scan port args will be target and i for the port and finally we just have to scan dot start and now let's go ahead and save this so let's save it in our python directory right there perfect we can call it port scanner nice 
and now that we have it ready let's uh, go ahead and test it out all right enter target so let's do a random host here in my network and there we go you can see that we get uh, the three open ports in the range we passed to the program now let's go ahead and try scanning a different target just for good measure here I will do the router yeah and we get port 80 139 etc so pretty easy port scanner that you can go ahead and use to scan uh, the different hosts in your network or a network you might have your mobile device connected to and yeah 15 lines of code and as you can see we can also scan by host name so if I go ahead and do my blog here I should be able to scan that as well and those are the different ports and you can see we gone ahead and resolved the address to a IP so there you go